what we are going to show you today is how to make compost and how to make it in a passive aerated windrow system and passive aeration windrow system is a system that is easy to use it's anybody could use it in a small spot in small place we'll take the cover off and the covers are used to maintain the moisture content in the pile because as you know moisture too much moisture in a compost pile is no good so we would like to keep it at about 65 percent we started the pile here and this is the older material and as we move along we add stuff to it so at the end what you're going to have is this side is going to be completely completely finished this time this side you can still add stuff to it and you could start harvesting on this side you can keep adding on this side inside of this pile you have tremendous amount of heat and as a matter of fact you could come and see I'm going to open it up a little bit and you can see the steam coming out and it's about 50 150 degrees inside and that's what you want you want it to be hot inside and what the heat does the heat creates convection and brings cold air from the bottom and the hot air rise up as you know ends up over here and goes out so basically it creates a vacuum or a flow of air fresh air comes into the pile and the aeration starts and all compost needs to have some type of formula or some type of um, recipe and we're doing a recipe over here of one to one to one so we have this is wood chips this is leaves and what we have over here is um, food food scraps that we got from uh, Washington DC so the first thing I'm gonna do is turn the engine on We can pretend that this all this this pile was completely chopped up. <laughs> so what we're going to do now, we're going to add this to our mix. The different components, basically, you have to have a C to N ratio of 30 to 1, and by mixing the various parts of wood chips and leaves and this uh, organic food waste we're going to create the C to N ratio or the proper C to N ratio also we are going to have a good aeration because we added the wood chips wood chips create a lot of holes or a lot of airspace and therefore allowing air to penetrate into the pile and that's exactly what we're looking for in a pile like this since we're not going to turn it very much by hand we want the aeration to be proper and if we put two small pieces into this pile just the wood chips that's the uh, the food waste or the leaves you're not going to create a nice aeration also we're taking into consideration the moisture content of the food waste itself which uh, probably is about 60 percent 70 percent and we are going to look at it and see how the blend develops and if we have to add water to it we will add water to it as as necessary and the simplest way to check to see if you have the right moisture content is basically to take a sample and squeeze it by hand and if we have too much water like we have now this is too wet what you want to do is you want to have just enough moisture at the end of your at the end of your fingers and 
when you squeeze and right now this is too moist so what we're doing is we are adding this uh, other ingredients to it and it makes it um, makes it less with less moisture the advantage of a pile like this over let's say a over a box is that you have access uh, from all sides plus you can cover it with the cover and plus the fact that you have pipes on the bottom that are allowing you to uh, aerate it. So this is a pile that uh, we did about three months ago and again we're covering the pile and as you can see this is our finished compost and the compost should look brown but not black slightly dark brown and it also should have a texture that you can really recognize what it used to be and it should have if you squeeze it if you see it look like this it's got the paste that basically breaks down into paste and that's a lot of humus involved in this pile the smell should be earthy smell and should not have any uh, ammonia smell to it the most important in the pile is that it's cool it should have an ambient temperature and as, as opposed to the one over there that we just saw you there is no steam coming out of this pile because this pile is finished and uh, probably ready to be put onto our nice garden which is right here and you could uh, see where we use this right in these beds we add continuously add compost uh, all uh, whenever we replant something we add a little bit of compost to it and the compost will add the humus it will add the bacteria that are so desired by the plants and it's the symbiotic between the bacteria and and the plants that we're going to get beautiful plants and uh, beautiful growth.